began in 19... 2021 and ended up in 1927 with Nicol Masako and Bartolomeo Vanzetti being uh, executed in the, by the state of Massachusetts in the electric chair for a crime they didn't commit. Because they were anarchists, they were framed up. And that's, that's the historical part. And of course, you know that Woody was a, was a friend of the offended and the, the downtrodden. So, and, uh, you also know that his most famous song, This Land is Your Land, is all about that. All about being our land and not theirs, you know, yours and mine. This song is for the benefit of people who didn't know the story of Sacco and Vanzetti and lived along and are still living a long time after that. And it's based on the letter. Vanzetti wrote from his prison cell just before he was put to death. The year is 1927, and the day is the third day of May. The town is a city called Boston. Our address, the dark denim jail. Honor the Governor Fuller to the Council of Massachusetts State. We, Bartolomeo Vanzetti and Nicole Masako, do say, confined to ourselves here at Dedham and under the sentence of death. We pray you to exercise your powers and look at the facts of our case. We do not ask you for a pardon, for a pardon would admit of our guilt. Since we are both innocent workers, we have no guilt to admit. We believe, sir, that each human being is in close touch with all of man's kind. We believe, sir, that each human being knows the right from the wrong in his mind. And we talk to you here as a man, sir, even knowing our opinions divide. We did not kill the guards in South Braintree, nor dream such a terrible crime. Now if we was those killers, dear governor, we'd not be so dumb or so blind to pass out our handbills and make workers' speeches out here by the scene of the crime. And those fifteen thousands of dollars The lawyers and cops say we took Do we, sir, dress up like two gentlemen With that much in our pocketbook? Thayer's mind was made up, sir, when we walked into the court. He called us anarchistic bastards and said lots of other things worse. Now the officers said we feared something which they called a consciousness of guilt. But we was afraid of wrecking more homes and seeing more workers' blood spill. 
If we live a thousand lives more 